Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again, bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. And today, this is a quick guide to the Tier 6 Premium British Battleship, the HMS Hood. In reality though, this is really a battle cruiser, but for the game, we're considering this a battleship. Now you can see in this picture here, this is a very long ship, and also, this ship focuses on the new player, or the player that has just purchased the hood and are looking for some advice on how to play or build up this hood. That's what this quick guide is all about. And also this quick guide, this hood is specifically a speed build hood. If you're not sure what that is, then watch this video and this is my recommendation for how to build up this hood. Okay, so let's head and have a look at the actual. Now it's a tier six ship, so we are going to start off right off the bat with three upgrade slots that you get to pick. All right, so let's have a look at those first. Now if we look at the first one, this is standard. It seems all the time you'll have a choice between aiming systems, secondary battery, and main battery. For me, most of my ships, I always end up using aiming systems. Primarily to get that minus 7% to my dispersion, but also if you happen to have a ship with torpedoes, you'll get that additional 20%, but you'll get the additional 5% for your secondaries and a minus 5% for dispersion of secondaries. But I primarily take the aiming systems to get the initial 7 per, minus 7%, which is very good to have. Mind you, if you're going to be building a secondary build, which you really don't want to do with a hood because it doesn't have much in the way of secondary batteries, you have this choice here. But a lot of people will also choose main battery. So you can't go wrong with either of these. Aiming systems or main battery. Both are just as good. It all depends what your play style is because with the main battery mod too, you'll get the additional 15% in traverse speed of your turrets, which is a really good thing to have on your battleships. However, you're gonna pay a penalty for that by having your main battery increase by 5%, which is not a really big deal because the hood has a relatively good reload with its main battery. All right, so let's move on to our second slot. Now, second slot, if you've seen some of my quick guides before, you know, I recommend propulsion, 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 propulsion. I like having the increased acceleration with my ships, even more so on this speed build, this is a must have. However, some people will choose the steering gear, steering gear to give you an additional rudder shift, which is a very good one to have, and some people like to have the damage control system as well. However, me, it's all propulsion for this one. Let's go to our next one. Our third one, you only get the one choice, and this is beautiful to have. The Target Acquisition System Mod 1, giving you increased spotting range, increased torpedo detectability range, and the RGA of ships at a plus 50%. That's great to have. All right, so let's just do a quick look at the uh, stats. Like I mentioned, it's a quick guide. Hit points, not bad at 67,000. Mind you, the stats are going to be a little uh, altered because of the commander I have on here right now. So some things are going to be increased, some things are going to be decreased, okay? Uh, torpedo reduction, uh, not that great at 16%. It could be better. However, the commander can make that better. Artillery-wise, now here we go. We have on here 381 millimeter guns. They're not that bad, okay? They're not that bad. I thought they would be better, but they're not that bad. Okay, they come in four turrets or four double turrets. My firing range on this ship at the moment is 17.1 kilometers. And there's that reload time, 27 seconds. So if you chose the main battery mod, uh, get the additional 5% on that. It's only going to increase it by about a second. So not a really a big deal, but you get that 15% increase in the traverse speed. However, reload time at 27 seconds, okay? And you can see that the uh, turn time on your turrets are pretty good at 25 seconds. That's actually really good. Um, fire starting chance is 34%, and the AP shell is sitting at uh, 11,000. Not bad. Now, there you go. We do have some secondaries on this ship. There are seven 102s on here. Um, I should say seven turrets with uh, double 102s, which are pretty small guns. They fire every three seconds, okay? All right. Maneuverability wise, now this is where this ship shines. If you bought this ship, you are going to love the speed capability of this thing. So right now, I mentioned my ship is a speed build. You can see it up there, max speed, 
35.6 knots. Pretty much 36 knots. I can get this over 36 knots in time. But 35.6 knots, I'm as fast as some destroyers and faster than a lot of cruisers. My turning circle is pretty big at 910 meters, so that's a pretty big. That's due to the length of the ship. My rudder shift time is a pretty good 12.7 seconds. So, concealment-wise, well, it's a battleship. You're going to be detected. Overview of this ship, it's fast. And yeah, I made it faster. Okay. Nimble lane, which means it's got a pretty good uh, aim on here. And the turrets really move quickly. So it's pretty good at close-in combat. However, compromising. Higher caliber AP shells overpen the armor. It does happen a lot, yes. Okay. All right. So let's hit back to the ship itself. Commander-wise, now, note. If you're a new player of the game... Most likely, you only have Cunningham as a battleship commander and Madden as a battleship commander. Either are perfectly fine for the ship. Madden's pretty much your brawler. Cunningham is your accuracy guy. Uh, I would recommend personally using Cunningham, okay? Now, if you happen to have been during the Azure Lane event and you have um, Nelson or Hood, you can use either one. Nelson on here has some great skills you can utilize. However, I have Hood. Hood specifically for the hood. Now let's bring her up. The reason is, is hood has speed. Royal Navy's glory. This gives you the maximum speed of your battleships increased by 5%. Plus damage control is nice to have too. Okay. Really, really nice. And you can see if you want, if you have hood and you want to use hood on here and build her up like I have, pause the screen, check out my skills. You're definitely going to want to have... Um, you're going to want to have Emil from the uh, French battleship uh, line on here with his maximum battle speed increase of 3%. That helps out too. Okay, and of course, I have my go-to inspiration guy, Cunningham, giving you that uh, precision. All right. Now, she does have the base trait as well of reducing, <clears throat> excuse me, torpedo damage to your ship by another minus 8.5%. So if you take some uh, hits with torpedoes, that's going to help out, okay? So that's it there, okay? All right, let's move back here. Now, for this battle, I'm going to have uh, um, Hood on here. Let's get back in here, okay? So let's take the Hood out. We're going to take the Hood out. Now, we're just going to play in an AI match. And I, like I mentioned in all my videos for quick guides, I recommend AI matches for any new players, especially uh, to get used to your ships. And also, I recommend AI matches for uh, veteran or experienced players with, when you get a new ship just to test things out. I do that. I test things out in AI, and then I take them into uh, the standard matches. And uh, we're going to take the hood in here, and we're going to get this thing up to speed. Like I said, the hood really shines with their speed. It's almost like having a... It's basically a battleship with very, very fast speed. We're going to make use of her battle cruiser capability. Okay, we're going to be in the Atlantic. Now, you really, um, we can't really utilize the speed so much in an AI match because the AI bots tend to be very one minded. They pick a target, go for it. And, uh, however, your speed's going to be very, very effective in standard matches. Mind you, you don't want to get stuck without anybody around. You still want support around. So it's nice having your battleship. Uh, keeping up with the cruisers and the destroyers to help them out. Now, they stuck us over right here, so... Yeah, we'll get our speed up and going. We're going to veer off towards the uh, east here. Or I should say the west. He's backing up. We have a New Orleans with us right there. And we're going to take our ship, I guess, um, probably uh, right down the channel there at full speed. We're already up to 30 knots. Now, even when I'm turning, when I'm at full speed and I start doing a rudder shift turn, I only, I'm only i still going to be doing around 30 to 31 knots, which is phenomenal in a battleship. Okay, we might be able to get a shot of that Nagato over there. Now, we do have our AP loaded. 
can see uh, 15 kilometers out. That's nah, it's basically not that great of dispersion. Mind you, we still got a penetration and two shatters. So we still damage that Nagato. Okay, we have a Minx coming in there. Sure, I didn't have um, the uh, HE loaded. Okay, we all take a shot at the Minx. Now the Minx has got five kilometer torps, so he's going to be throwing torps in the water shortly. Take a shot on the Minx. Okay, now we are going to start um, maneuvering our ship here. I'm, a, I'm expecting um, Minx torpedoes to be coming at me. Yeah, they have to be coming at me. Okay, I'm going to start turning my ship again. Okay, they just killed the Minx. Alright. So now we're going to fire on this Fiji. Get the Fiji targeted. Firing away. There they go. And sure enough, we got the Citadel. The Hood does Citadel quite significant, especially against cruisers. This, uh... The Hood is really a good cruiser killer. Now, I'm guessing the Fiji might have torpedoes coming at me? I don't know. Now, my secondaries, which are pretty puny on the Hood. Here we go. We're taking the fire. Well, it's angled, so we should get a half-decent hit on there. And sure enough, yep, we got another Citadel, so we killed it. We destroyed an enemy cruiser. All right, so that's pretty good so far. Now, the Mogami. We'll target that Mogami. We have another Fiji over there. Okay, there's someone's already got to take out that Mogami, more than likely. This is okay. We're gonna keep. We want to keep our ship going at full speed. Maybe I start. Uh, okay, so where is that Fiji? Way out there. I'll let them deal with that. Okay. Okay. Now there's Nagato. Nagato's noticed me. Spotted me. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to do much in the way of damage. You got to shoot this superstructure here. Getting half decent damage. You have two pens to the superstructure. That was good. Yeah. Secondaries on the hood basically are non existent. Alright, let's put some shots right into there. Got our four turrets. Okay, see, we are bouncing his shells too, which is really good. Now, we're just going to take a shot on as we're going past. That's pretty good. Now, here's where the hood has a bit of an advantage. His turret turn right here. I can easily out turret turn the uh, Negato there. And get a lot of shots in before that Nagato can ever get a shot on me again, if ever. Now, let's hold off for just a second. And we're going to throw some shells into Nagato's broadside. Right about there. Okay. There we go. We got the Citadel. All right. Okay. destroyed. Now, that really didn't show too much about what the uh, the hood can do as a speed bail. Other than the fact that she can move really fast, and it's great having the speed because you can get in and out of uh, situations uh, pretty quickly with the hood. And plus, is you can keep pace with cruisers and destroyers to help assist them there as well. Because you like to have some destroyers and cruisers around you for sure. And uh, believe me, destroyers and cruisers are going to be quite happy to have a very fast hood or battleship that can keep up with them to help them in their battles on your teams so it's a really good team ship to have anyway so there you have it i like the hood i think the hood's a very good ship if we move back here i've got about almost 200,000 experience in it now so i've been playing it for quite a bit now and it's a very very fun ship to play uh hopefully as a uh, for you as a new player or as an experienced player that has purchased the hood that uh, you can find some uh basically some information or some positive information here that'll help you in the game anyways if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, please give me a like. And of course, it would be wonderful if you would subscribe for future videos on my channel. Other than that, this is Spotted Gamer.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the high seas. Thank you.